Hello, a very warm welcome to Penny Brougham. My name is Janie, I'm the Wellbeing Lead here at Penny Brougham. This is a short video looking at how self-care can help to support our overall well-being. Self-care is particularly important during this festive time when our focus is often on those around us trying to please or just keep up. It's currently a very popular buzzword and all the more since the effects of the pandemic, but its roots have a much older tradition in Eastern cultures. Put simply, self-care is an investment in ourselves. And rather than this being selfish or self-indulgent, it's actually an act of compassion for those around us. You can't pour from an empty cup. The more we take from ourselves, the less we have to give. An effective analogy is of putting the oxygen mask on yourself first before helping others. We're more capable of being there for our loved ones if we're there for ourselves first. Self-care is essentially bringing balance back to our whole being. It includes taking care of our physical self, eating healthily, exercising and sleeping well, but it's also, and extremely importantly, about looking after our minds, our emotions and our spirit. Self-care is a big part of our whole life approach um, at Penny Brown and plays a vital role in supporting that all-important resilience. So what do we need to do to give ourselves self-care? Self-care means very different things to different people. There's no one-size-fits-all prescriptive answer. The true essence of self-care involves self-knowledge. To be able to offer ourselves self-care, we really need to be able to tune into and understand our own needs. What does and doesn't restore us differs hugely from person to person, depending on our tastes, our preferences, and it can also differ from day to day or even hour to hour, especially with a cancer diagnosis. In general terms, self-care is about bringing balance back to the energy in our body, our mind, our emotions and our spirit. So you could start by thinking about what aspects of your well-being may be feeling under-resourced right now. You may find it useful to do our health and well-being wheel, which you can find on our website. This can highlight the areas of ourselves and our lives that need some additional attention, which can then help to guide us as to how we can best resource ourselves. Being able to identify and understand what drains us and what restores us is key. It may be useful to write a list of activities or people that restore us and those that drain us. You may want to add this into the different areas in the wheel. It can also be really useful to just sit quietly, give yourself some time to notice, really notice how you are in this moment. So just finding a quiet space, making yourself comfortable, gently closing your eyes, taking a couple of nice deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. And this nice, slow, deep breathing is a wonderful way of activating the relaxation response. And then tuning in to how you are in this moment, how you feel in your body, in your thoughts, in your emotions, your spirit. Sometimes we haven't really connected with ourselves for hours, days, or sometimes much longer. So just checking in, sensing the energy in your body, the energy in your mind, your emotions, your spirit and allowing yourself to meet whatever's there without judgment, without getting caught up in the story, in the whys or the whats. Just being aware. What we give space to can move. So by allowing anything that's there to be present without burying or chasing away, has the space to gently settle for the energy to rebalance. And another great way of activating self-care is by tuning into our inner voice. Give yourself a few moments just to consider when you may have recently been cross with yourself or put yourself down. How can we reset that voice? How can we respond differently? How would you talk to your best friend or loved one or to a favourite pet? What tone or language would you use? Again, this may be considered self-indulgent, but Again, it's an act of compassion to those around us, as well as to ourselves. If our own inner tone is harsh and critical, 
This starts to seep into the tone we use with others, creating a ripple effect on those around us. So to recap, giving ourselves an opportunity to notice what the energy is like in our body, mind, emotions and spirit, thinking about what resources us, what gives us energy and what's demanding of our energy. And also considering the way we talk to ourselves. And then we can perhaps start to look at activities. Again, this is not one size fits all. Some people find they re-energize in the company of others, whilst others find balance being by themselves or walking in nature or listening to music. Whatever it is that suits you, this is your special time, creating some space for yourself, an opportunity to be kind to yourself. Enjoy.